It is July 27th, 2023, and we have breaking news coming out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Asa Hutchinson, the governor of Arkansas, running in the Republican primary for president of the United States, has qualified for the first presidential debate. This is big, as the other, most of the other candidates in the Republican primary have qualified. He was one of the few who had and he will now qualify for this debate. This is great news for the Hutchinson campaign, and this really puts him back in the race if he can make a good impression in the first Republican debate. It is July 30th, 2023, and in Des Moines, Iowa, Donald, or I'm sorry, Mike Pence has called Trump the real traitor in the Republican Party. Remember, Trump has called Pence the traitor for a year, for about a year now, ever since January 6th, 2022. And now Mike Pence is calling him a real traitor. This is expected to definitely have an impact on the race. That is big to call the president that you served under, under the real traitor. This is big. It is August 3rd, 2023, and in Des Moines, Iowa, Liz Cheney has called for Larry Hogan's endorsement. Maryland, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan is running in the Republican primary, and Liz Cheney is run is a Republican running as an independent in uh, the presidential election, and she is calling on Larry Hogan, who is an anti-Trump Republican like Cheney herself, to drop out and endorse Liz Cheney. That is what she's calling for. It would it would give her a boost in her campaign as Hogan is polling around 7% in the primary. And it is August 7th, 2023, and in Savannah, Georgia, Brian Kemp has qualified for the first presidential debate. He will be in the first presidential debate. He is the last candidate to qualify. Donald Trump is qualified and Mike Pence is qualified. Francis Saras is qualified. Larry Hogan is qualified. Asa Hutchinson has just qualified. And now Kemp will be in the debate. He's the governor of Georgia. Now all Republican primary candidates have qualified. All of them will be in the August 14th debate. So Kemp was seven days early. And let's look at the first debate qualifier qualifiers. I just said it before, but I guess we will go through them again. Donald Trump, Mike Pence, Larry Hogan, Brian Kemp, Francis Saras, and Asa Hutchinson have all qualified for this debate. It is August 14th, 2023, and in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, the first GOP debate has taken place in Milwaukee. We are sorry for the blurry image, but I promise that is that is all of the candidates um, in this primary. They have all debated in Milwaukee. The debate starting now. It is August fourteenth, or it is during the debate, and Trump and Pence are in a heated exchange. They have been in an argument, if you will, this entire debate. Not much policy is being talked about. But instead, it's more of a argument between um, everyone else and Donald Trump and whether or not he is controlling the party. And Mike Pence has once again called Trump the real traitor. And Pence, Kemp, and Hogan have all teamed up against Trump. They have basically joined forces and basically pointing and exposing out uh, Trump for what he has done. And they are basically in a alliance here, attacking Trump. And uh, and in this debate, Francis Saras talks about age in politics. He's by far the youngest person on the stage, and he is uh, bringing a new idea to the table, which is very uh, which is very good for low polling candidates. It is it definitely helps them. He is saying that we need more young people in politics and he represents that. It is August sixteenth, twenty twenty three, and the new post debate polling has been released. This is Republican primary polling. Let's go through it. Donald Trump has forty nine percent he is in the lead, however he does not have a majority of support. Mike Pence is in second. Again, this is nationwide with 30%. Pretty good showing for Mike Pence. And look at that. Brian Kemp made such a name for himself in the debate that he is now polling at 9%. Yes, the new candidate in the race is now 
polling at 9%. He is doing great in this race. Uh, it, or in these uh, past couple of weeks since, or not cu- past couple weeks, these past couple of days since the debate, he has he is now um, in third place. No one thought that Brian Kemp could have done that, but he m- did so well in the debates with going against Trump that he has now reached 9%. Francis Harris also made a great name for himself during the debates. He is now polling at 6%, much more than before. And Larry Hogan, unfortunately, is not doing very well anymore. He dropped in support. He is now only at 5%. And Asa Hutchinson is also at 1%. He, uh, not looking good for the Hutchinson campaign. This August 22nd, 2023, and in Jeffersonville, Indiana, Denver Leverett has announced his 2024 presidential bid, giving a speech in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Denver Leverett is a police officer from Indiana. He made, or, um, he, his claim to fame is being on many police, uh, television shows. And he is expected to win his state in a primary, and that is what he has said. He has said that he wants to go into the DNC with delegates from Indiana. That's really the only place he could win. It is August 29th, and the DNC has announced that there will be zero presidential debates in the Democratic primary. They have announced this in Washington, D.C. There will be no debates, even with uh Nina Turner and Denver Leverett running against um, Joe Biden for the presidential nomination. Even with that, the DNC has said that uh, Leverett and Turner are polling too low for them or for them uh, to waste time and money on a debate. It is August 30th, one day later, and Turner and Lever are outraged by the DNC. They are expressing this very clearly. They are unhappy with the DNC. They, they have made that very clear across the internet, across everywhere. And they are pushing for a debate to be held. And let and the hashtag let them speak has gone viral everywhere across America. Even those who don't, who, or even those in the Republican primary, or people not voting in the Democratic primary, even, you know, people who aren't supporting Nina Turner or Denver Lever are posting this hashtag. People are seeing this as an unfair uh, move by the DNC. It is September 18th, and the hashtag Let Them Speak has clearly has an impact on this Democratic race because Nina Turner has gotten a huge boost in polls. So Joe Biden has dropped down to 56 percent, barely even a majority of Democrats are supporting him. And 32 percent of Democrats are just unsure after this uh, after this hashtag has gone viral, after the DNC has made this announcement. Nina Turner has 9 percent and Denver Leverett has 3 percent. It is September 20th, 2023, and in Washington, D.C., the Democratic National Committee has agreed to hold a debate on September 31st. Turner and Lever have got what they wanted. The hashtag has worked. They have announced debates for September 31st. It is September 25th, and the GOP holds their second debate in Orlando, Florida. And here are the people who are pre- who were present at this debate. They were Donald Trump, Mike Pence, Larry Hogan, Brian Kemp, Francis Harris, and Asa Hutchinson. So all candidates were present at this debate. All of them qualified. And new post-debate polling has been released for the Republican primary. This is September 27th. Donald Trump has... Um, has has stayed about the same where he was. He is still at around 54%. Mike Pence has just dropped down a little bit by about 3%. He is now at 27%. This debate was pretty good for Donald Trump, but it was also good for Francis Saez. He climbed up again to 7% in polls. He's really making a name for himself here. Brian Kemp dropped a little bit at He's not six percent. Larry Hogan has remained at five percent, and Asa Hutchinson has remained at one percent. 
We have breaking news. It is August 28th, and in Little Rock, Arkansas, Asa Hutchinson has suspended his presidential campaign. He is ending his campaign for a president on the state after new polling once again showed him at 1%. And Hutchinson has said Brian Kemp is best suited to lead the future of the GOP. So this is an, an official endorsement by Asa Hutchinson. He is officially endorsing Brian Kemp for president. He has given Brian Kemp his support. This isn't expected to have, um, you know, a major impact on this race. However, that 1% that was supporting Asa Hutchinson will now be going to Brian Kemp. It is September 31st, 2023, and the Democratic debate has, is being held in Washington, D.C. Joe Biden is there, Denver Leverett is there, and as you can see, Nina Turner is there. All three are debating in Washington, D.C. Nina Turner and Denver Lever are basically on an attacking spree on Biden, even though they disagree completely on almost all issues. They are working together to attack Joe Biden for not getting enough done, as they say. And is October twenty is October second, and post debate polling for the Democratic primary has been released. Uh, Joe Biden it, um, is said to have won this debate. He climbed up about ten percent. He's now at 62%. Nina Turner is now at 8%. Denver Lever is now at 2%. And 28% are unsure. Still, a large block of Democratic voters are unsure. It is October 26th, 2023. And in Detroit, Michigan, the GOP holds their third debate. Let's see how it goes. The third debate, or the people who were present at the third debate, were all the remaining candidates in the Republican primary. So that means Donald Trump, Mike Pence, Larry Hogan, along with Brian Kemp and Francis Cyrus. And it is October 28th, uh, 2023, and new post debate polling for the Republicans have been released. It shows Donald Trump once again climbing back up with 58%. Mike Pence has once again dropped to only 24%. He is now at less than a fourth of all Republican primary voters. Francis Harris has remained the same at 8%. Brian Kemp has remained the same at 5%. And Larry Hogan has dropped a little bit. He's now at 4%. Things really are not looking good for the Hogan campaign. It is October 29th, 2023, and we have breaking news in Annapolis, Maryland. Larry Hogan has suspended his presidential campaign. He will not go any further. This comes after he once again, or his support once again decreases in polls. He will not even make it to the primary. And Hogan has said, Liz Cheney can unite the country. He is officially endorsing Liz Cheney for president. He is giving his support to Liz Cheney, who is running an independent campaign for president. And he is endorsing her. She has, uh, she wanted his endorsement for a while now. And with him out of the race, he is endorsing Liz Cheney for president. And that is big news. That, uh, this is the second major endorsement she got. The first was, uh, Andrew Yang in the forward party endorsing her. This is, again, October 29th, 2023. It is November 18th, 2023, and the first hypothetical general election polls have been released. So Joe Biden is heavily favored to win the Democratic primary. Donald Trump is mostly favored to win the Republican primary. And Liz Cheney will be running as an independent. So the first general election polls, the first uh, really, you know, supposedly accurate ones have been released They show Joe Biden in the lead nationwide. Again, this is nationwide, not the electoral vote. So, you know, mind that. Uh, Biden is at 47 percent. Trump is at 46 percent. And Cheney is at 7 percent. It is November 24th. And the first Iowa polls have been released. So this is the uh, Iowa caucus polls for the Republican primary. They show Trump with 62 percent, a dominating lead. Pence with 30 percent. SARS with 2% and Kemp with 6%. And there are also Democratic primary polls for Iowa uh, taking place. Biden is at 94. Turner is at 5. Lever is at 1. Huge lead for Joe Biden, as you can see, without that, without that unsure uh, column. He really is dominating. 
And we, the first New Hampshire polls have also been conducted. This one is for the Republican primary. Donald Trump has a lead with 67% to Mike Pence's 28%. SARS is 1% and Kemp's 4%. And for the Dem- and for the Democrats, Biden has 95%, Turner has 3%, Lever has 2%. It is November 28th, 2023, and Mike Pence is polling well in the state of New Hampshire, and he is campaigning there. He is really focusing on the state of New Hampshire while he aban- not abandons Iowa, but focuses less on Iowa. He is currently campaigning in Concord, New Hampshire. And it's December 1st, and Brian Kemp has opened his first campaign offices in Iowa and New Hampshire. So now he's actually running a real campaign here in the early primary states. It is December 9th, 2023, and Francis Sars is really focusing on the other two early uh, uh, primaries in Nevada and South Carolina. He is opening campaign offices here. He's campaigning here. Uh, there is more of a diverse population here, more of a diverse vote, and this is where he really will do well, rather than uh, more white conservative states like Iowa and New Hampshire. So he's focusing on uh, Nevada and South Carolina, Iowa, New Hampshire, not so much. And it is December 20th, 2023, and Donald Trump has kept his lead in Iowa and New Hampshire. This picture was taken in Des Moines, Iowa. He has kept his lead in these states. He is expected to win both of them.